Hi, Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. So I'm going to do your daily messages for Monday and Tuesday, September 17th and the 18th, 2018. I'm going to do you guys individually. Those of you that said birthday wishes, thank you guys so very much. You guys are so sweet on Facebook, Instagram. I truly appreciate you guys so much. So, guys, um, if the reading, you know, resonates, that's awesome. If it doesn't, please check out the ones that I post over on Instagram. Links will be below. Aries. Aries. Spirit. Dealing with an Aquarius. Beautiful. Leo. Leo. Okay, Leo. And I'll also be clarifying. Sag. Sagittarius. Perfect. I'm using the modern spellcasters for you guys as well. Okay, Aries. Wow, the star. Sign of Aquarius. Um, you know, this will be, this is like, you know, a process that is a healing energy. You know, it is a card of hopes and wishes, dreams coming true. You know, but really, especially in this deck, I do feel it more is a healing process. The next few days, you know, whatever you're hoping and wishing for could actually come true for you. It's a big card of communication. Some of you could be waiting on communication as well as clarity. Beautiful energy, though. Okay, Leo, you have the moon. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It could be some of you could be dealing with heightened psychic abilities. Um, for some of you, there could be some sort of secret going on. Either you're holding on to a secret or someone else's. I'm also getting to maybe, you know, some of you might not be seeing things for what they really are. You know, this could be a you know a deceptive energy, but we are going to clarify it. Okay, Leo. But any water sign in this in this card, so Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or this will be your energy. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles, right? You gotta look at the depiction of the card. You know, this could be your energy, especially if you have earth in your chart. You know, it's you have this big, you know, this this brick wall surrounding you. You know, it's about and you look pretty beat up. You know, it's the modern spellcasters. You know, it's a very modern deck. You know, it in this particular deck, it is about you protecting guarding guarding yes guarding <laughs> you know protecting and guarding your finances your abundance your security your stability protecting everything that you have worked very very hard for you know it could even be protecting your independence in some way totally different vibe from this you know, in this particular card. All right, let me clarify. Just wanted to make sure that was all I'm getting. Um, my gosh. The Lenormans. 
completely just poof. Circle Marche. That'll kill me. I can't believe I forgot the name of this deck. I mean, I haven't, oh, the Gil, the Gilded Reverie Lenormans. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> that'll be okay, though. Just completely lost it there for a second. All right, let me clear the energy from water signs. Aries and their star. Beautiful energy for Aries, really. Aries. Okay, well, okay, wow. So the boutique flipped up. So Aries, a gift. Some of you could be giving a gift, receiving a gift. You know, I feel strongly that some of you could be dealing with someone who is, like, very gifted. Like, really. You know, this comes through. This could even be you, Aries. Someone that's very intuitive, spiritual. Really. Um, you know, you could definitely be communicating you know, with someone who is very gifted, you know, I mean, not to sound conceited or anything, I'm not like that, but like you could be talking to people like me, you know, other readers and, and stuff like that. Definitely I'm getting that for some of you. Some of you could be, you know, hoping and wishing for some sort of gift for a long time. And I do feel like you are going to receive it. Like, on a, in a big way, Aries. Yeah, that's very nice, Leo. Leo, the stork. Um, all right, so there's definitely some sort of information. I think, I mean, you definitely need it. Or really, I mean, this is, you know, information or very, very positive news that's going to bring clarity. You know, if you, you know, all the light that's coming up from the stork, you know, the moon, anything that was hidden, kept a secret, things that you just, you know, things that were up in the air, anything that you were confused about, everything is coming to light. You know, if you weren't seeing things clearly, you will be. If you weren't seeing things for what they are, you will. You will receive this news and it is going to allow for you to see the situation for what it really is. It could be news, information coming through that you probably were not even aware of before, really. Interesting. Wow, that's a lot. I just feel like for the majority of you, Leo, a lot of clarity, truth, good news. Sagittarius. Definitely this one. Sag. A coffin. Interesting. So if you could have quit your job. Some of you could have ended something or a situation.
some of you definitely could have ended something or a situation. Now you feel like you need to protect your finances. You could have ended your job, your, your career. You're trying to protect your independence. I just feel for the majority of you that either you quit your job or you're trying to protect your independence or your finances in some way, shape, or form. There's definitely an ending to some sort of financial. And now you need, you feel the need to protect yourself. And you're really going out of your way to do that. Alright, so these are Oracle of the Mermaids, Lucy Cavendish, great deck. So we're going to advice, clarification to the rating. We'll see what comes up. This is pretty much to, not exactly, but pretty close to how I do Facebook Lives. Aries, additional. Okay, freedom flipped up for you, Aries. Independent self-determination. So, some of you are definitely wanting to find that independence, that freedom. Some of you, I feel like you need to gain confidence, courage determination to move forward independently in some way for some of you I feel like this could be regarding your career others of you it could be regarding this communication but I really do feel strongly for a lot of you that you are absolutely receiving something that you've been waiting a very long time to receive And others of you, I feel like you're really dealing with someone who's gifted. Or you're communicating with this gifted person. flipped up, which happens to be this one. Okay. Carl's Wisdom. Okay. So, I feel like with this as an advice card, any projects Leo, that you're working on. Or anything in regards to your job, career. Something involving a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I feel like you just need to take your time. Not rush things. Because I feel like if some of you go ahead and, and, and rush things, they might not turn out the way you were expecting them to. You know, there could be hidden things that you're not aware of when it comes to something that you are working on. So I feel like you need to be patient and really just take your time.
Okay, Song of the Siren. So I feel like with this card, you really do need to pay attention to your communication. You need to pay attention to the communication, information, knowledge that comes your way. Because you know what? I really do feel strongly that this is going to help you get through this situation. I just feel like you need to pay attention to conversations that are, are going on. Information, knowledge that's coming your way. Oh, that you, things that you overhear over the next couple of days. I just feel I, feel, I really do feel like this information will be very important in regards to this situation. You know, but the, the good thing, though, Sag, is, you know, you you are definitely, with both of these cards, at, at the end of a cycle. You know, this is like the death card. And, you know, nine here. You are at the end of a cycle. So whatever this is. As long as you... Pay attention. You'll complete this sooner than expected. Okay. All right, fire signs. I hope that you found it helpful. Um, again, if it didn't resonate, please check out the ones over on Instagram. But I absolutely love you guys. I hope you guys have a fabulous next two days. And I will see you guys back here very, very soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.